This video note describes benefits and risks of e-commerce. E-commerce is the integration of communications, data management, and security technologies, which allows individuals and organizations to exchange information related to the sale of goods and services. The major functions of e-commerce include buying goods or services, selling goods or services, and the performance of financial transactions on the internet. There are a number of benefits for both businesses and consumers when engaging in e-commerce. For businesses, the many benefits include reduced costs. Online businesses can stay open 24 hours a day without the overhead of a brick and mortar facility. Many businesses establish a website before attempting e-commerce. When they add e-commerce functions to their website, the site becomes a source of revenue and in many cases pays for itself increased customer satisfaction. Businesses can use their websites to improve communication with customers and increase customer satisfaction. E-commerce sites often contain a page for frequently asked questions. The availability of customer service representatives by email, discussion forums, or even online chats can improve customer relations. More effective data management. Depending on the level of automation, e-commerce sites can perform credit card verification and authorization, update inventory levels, and interface with order fulfillment systems, thereby managing the organization's data more effectively. Potentially higher sales. An e-commerce store that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and is available to everyone on the planet has the potential for higher sales than a traditional brick and mortar storefront. Businesses aren't the only beneficiaries of e-commerce. Consumers see some advantages as well, including convenience. Consumers can shop at any time of the day. There's no travel time to get to the store. Some consumers prefer website shopping over traditional catalog shopping because they can view additional images and join discussion forums about the products. Easier comparison shopping. There's no driving from store to store to check the price of an item. Customers can easily surf the web to compare prices and value. Wider selection of goods. Because it's convenient to shop and compare, consumers have a wider selection of goods available for purchase. There are risks involved in any business transaction, and e-commerce is no exception. Possible risks for businesses include loss of sales if technology fails. If your website isn't available or your e-commerce form processing doesn't work, customers may not return to your site. It's always important to have a user-friendly, reliable website, but when you engage in e-commerce, reliability and ease of use are critical factors in the success of your business. Fraudulent transactions. Fraudulent credit card purchases or crank orders placed by vandals are risks that businesses need to deal with. Customer reluctance. Although more and more consumers are willing to purchase on the web, the target market of your business may not be. However, by offering incentives such as free shipping or a no questions asked returns policy, your business may be able to attract these consumers. Increased competition. Because the overhead for an e-commerce site can be much lower than that of a traditional brick and mortar store, a company operating out of a basement can be just as impressive as a long-standing business if its website looks professional. Because it's much easier to enter the marketplace with an e-commerce store, your business will have increased competition. Businesses are not alone in needing to deal with the risks associated with e-commerce. Consumers may perceive the following risks. Security issues. How secure is the information you're entering on an e-commerce website? Look for HTTPS in the website URL to indicate that the website uses a secure sockets layer protocol for the encryption and security of information. Another possibly more important issue is what the site does with information after it's transmitted over the internet. Is their database secure? Are the database backups secure? These questions are difficult to answer. It's a good idea to purchase only from sites that you consider to be reputable. Privacy issues. Many sites post privacy policy statements. 
These describe what the site will do or will not do with the information they receive. Some sites use the data for internal marketing purposes only. Other sites sell the data to outside companies. Websites can and do change their privacy policies over time. Consumers may be leery of purchasing online because of the potential lack of privacy. Purchasing based on photos and descriptions. There's nothing like holding and touching an item before you purchase it. Consumers run the risk of purchasing a product that they will not be happy with because they're making purchasing decisions based on photos and written descriptions. If an e-commerce site has a generous returns policy, consumers will feel more confident about making a purchase. Returns. It's often more difficult to return an item to an e-commerce store than to a brick and mortar store. Consumers may not want to risk this inconvenience. This video note described benefits and risks of e-commerce.